It's IBC 2023 and no prizes for guessing where we are. We're on the Black Magic stand with Darren. Hello, Darren. Hi there, how are you doing? Very good, thank you. Good, good. So, we could spend all day talking to you about the new releases of Black Magic. Give us a overview of all the exciting announcements. Yes, our engineers have been very, very busy since we last spoke. Yeah. Loads of new products to talk about, but I'm just going to brush at them really quickly just so you've got a good idea okay. of what they are. So first thing is the new studio cameras. We've got the Studio Camera 4K Plus G2. Okay. So it expands upon the previous generation studio camera we've spoken about in previous videos, but this one has added SDI connectivity. So still got HDMI for in and out. Um, it's got the um, USB-C connectivity to work with our follow focus. Yeah. Sorry, our focus and our zoom demands, uh, but now it's got SDI. So you can work in larger productions, longer cable runs, uh, more professional setups if okay. you need to. As well as that, we've got the Micro Studio camera. So everyone's been asking us to uh, bring a new version of the Micro Studio camera to market. It was a very, very popular camera that we unfortunately had to discontinue. That's now got its second version. So it's the Micro Studio camera 4K okay. G2. That has 12G SDI in and out, so it can be used in uh, productions all the way up to 4K and 60 frames per second. Okay. It's got USB-C connectivity, so we can record off-board now as well into Blackmagic RAW, which is really, really important. Uh, and as well as that, we can also um, work with over Ethernet. So USB-C to Ethernet adapters allow us to control that camera remotely. So we're really excited about that. Yeah, yeah. The last camera we've released is the new Cinema Camera 6K, which is a brand new okay. digital film camera. People will be really excited to hear that it's got a full frame sensor. It's the new L mount as well. So it's okay. really versatile in terms of lens choices. Yep. And we're very excited to see what customers will do in that area. Yep. And one thing that's not a Blackmagic camera, but is very close to a Blackmagic camera, is the new Blackmagic camera app for iPhone. So now everybody who has a, an iPhone um, for the past kind of few generations has a Blackmagic camera in their pocket. It's a free app. Wow, okay. It has the user interface that everyone knows and loves from Blackmagic, and it has the ability to collaborate with DaVinci Resolve projects with direct uplink to Resolve projects. So I think people are going to be Very really cool. excited about that. We've taken it one step further with the um, kind of integration of uploads to Resolve as well. Um, the OSA Broadcast G2, that now has uh, the ability to, again, upload files via an Ethernet connection um, okay. on the camera, or if you have a phone tethered and connected as well, you can upload your footage directly into a Resolve project and utilize Blackmagic's new cloud storage platform. So right, I think okay. that's going to be really exciting for a lot of people. So that's cameras. That's cameras. That's just cameras. That's just cameras. Yeah. <laughs> Outside of the camera world, we've had some really nice updates um, to the Video Hub product range. So we've now got a 80 by 80, 12G capable Video Hub. So for larger okay. installations, people who ha are working in uh, larger resolutions and higher frame rates can now utilize the 80 by 80 Video Hub from us, which is going to be very, very popular, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, we've got some additions to the uh, web presenter and the streaming bridge. So anyone who's working in live streaming, we've added support for the SRT protocol on the web presenter HD and the web presenter 4K. Right. Now, yeah. SRT is really important for people who want maybe a more uh, reliable, lower latency and more efficient protocol for streaming their content. So mm -hmm. versus our RTMP, um, SRT is up to 40% more efficient. So if people have maybe lower bandwidth or they're tethering to a phone for streaming, for example, mm -hmm. that's gonna be really important for those web presenter users. On the opposite side of that, we've also updated the ATEM streaming bridge. So that can receive an SRT stream from one of those web presenter okay. HDs or 4Ks. So the engineers have been incredibly busy across as the always, board. As, as always. As always. <laughs> it's meant we've had lots to learn over the last few days yeah, getting indeed, up to speed yeah. with it all. But, and, yeah. and is everything we're talking about shipping now or is it? So it, it varies between the products. So yeah. the, the studio camera we mentioned first, that's available immediately. It replaces yeah. the previous generation. That's available now. Uh, the micro studio camera we're expecting very soon, probably in the next few weeks. Yeah. And then between the other products, it varies. So. The best place to check it out is just jump onto the Blackmagic website. It will tell you what month we're expecting to uh, to see those shipping. Or well, come to the back of four seven. Absolutely, come see us and find out more. Yeah, blackmagic.com. Yeah, blackmagicdesign.com. Blackmagicdesign.com. Thank you very much indeed, Darren. Do come by uh, Hall Seven right at the back end. You cannot miss Blackmagic with a massive stand with everything going on uh, that Darren's been explaining about. And of course, for everything else we're doing at IBC, check out kitplus.com. <laughs>